In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 3 of the Equid plan, which is to set the quantity filter. I will also be showing you how to complete step 4 which is to add products to your list. First, click on step 3 to set the quantity filter. This filter is used to filter out low quantity items. Let's say I put my quantity filter to 10, so only products that have 10 or more in stock will be added to my list. Now, click on step 4 to add products to your list. For in-depth detail on how to add products to your list, you can view my other video called, Adding Items to Your List. To recap, you can use any of the filter at the top, and combine it with the filters below it, and the keyword filter. Let's say I want to add items in bulk. For example, I want products that have low shipping. You can click here and manage the shipping price. Let's say I want products that have a maximum of $3 shipping. It will display all products that have a maximum of $3 shipping cost. Let's say I want to add these products, click on the plus list button over here. Then select the Equid plan. By default, out of stock items will not be added. If you want to add out of stock items, you can tick this box. You can also use this price range filter to add products within a certain price range. You can directly access your list and see all your added products. As you see, the products have been added. Now as you see here, 3744 products do not have a stock of at least 10, so they will not be added. Let's say I change the quantity filter to 1. After I refresh this page, the count of products not being added will change accordingly. Now as you see here, 3446 items will not be added because they do not have the quantity of at least 1. If you still want to add these products, you can set the quantity filter to 0. Now as you see, there is no message anymore, which means all the products will be added. Before applying the quantity filter, you can click on get count to see how many products will not be added. As you see here, it shows how many products will not be added. That is all for step 3 and 4. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.